Neon Tarot here with the second half of the monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to run from July 15th through the 21st. Um, the reading's been really deep, okay? Remember that I am still running a contest, so whichever zodiac sign receives the most views for the month of July, at the end of the month, Cricket will pick two free winners of one hour, okay? Probably around, uh, I'll say probably about the 26th, because we got a lot of vacations popping off. Plus, don't forget to say happy birthday to Cricket. Um, her birthday is July 29th, okay? Her birthday, my daughter's birthday, it's all July 29th. So, make sure you give a shout out to her, okay? All right, guys, so let's see. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? This is going to be for July 15th through the 31st. Cricket is a Capricorn moon. But the moon sign usually doesn't resonate. You usually want to look towards the sun and rising signs. Three more, guys. Here we go, y'all. One, two, three. All righty. <clears throat> we got the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Okay. The Seven of Cups. Under the King of Pentacles is the Chariot. Under the Eight of Cups is the High Priestess. Under the Seven of Cups is the Moon. Under the Chariot, we have the Star. Under the High Priestess is the Six of Cups. Under the Moon is the Ten of Cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is Temperance. Okay, so, basically what I've seen here as I was laying the cards, the first thing came to my mind is that Capcorn's frustrated at this point, all right? There's a lot of Capricorns that are walking away from uh, relationships, walking away from their families, walking away from marriages, okay, in search of something. The problem is you don't know what you're in search of with the Seven of Cups being there, okay? Um, one thing I want to tell you, Capricorn, that is not always good to do, and you guys do it all the time, is Capricorn don't like to let in new people, okay? Now... One thing I know for sure with Capricorn is you always tend to stick within your circle of men or not so much as the men. Men don't do this. This is the woman. You stick within your circle of men of the people that you were intimate with back when. So you always dig and go back to the past and dig for those old lovers. Okay. I feel like you're frustrated with a particular individual, somebody that maybe you have children with. Um, because it kind of seems like they're leaving you on scene or on stuck, like they're not telling you what's going on. Um, it could also be that you may be in a sexless marriage, a sexless relationship to where your partner keeps leaving you um, unattended. They don't say anything to you. They don't say what's going on or anything like that. Okay, so you feel like I'm ready to go. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but I'm getting the hell up out of here. Now, another thing I want to tell you is that there could also be, with the vertex being here, remember you're in the pre-vertex right now, there could also be some offers that are on the table for you, okay? But I want you to be very careful with those offers. What I mean is that you have to be careful not to destroy a marriage or a relationship that you've been in for a very long time only because at this moment your partner um, may not be interacting with you okay so I kind of get to see uh, the sense when I'm looking at this eight of cups and the moon the seven of cups all that looks good is not always good for you okay all that glitters is not gold okay that sort of thing it seems to me that you are trying to put away somebody that you've been with for a long time someone that you love very deeply because you're frustrated because Maybe they're just going into their bag right now. They haven't been spending time with you, haven't been talking to you. So now you're just out there wandering aimlessly. All right? Eight of Cups. This is about walking towards 
greater pastures. You feel like you've been in a relationship with someone. It could be with a, another Capricorn, a Taurus individual. And you feel like this relationship may have run its course. And now you just, you're in search of something. You're looking for something. You're looking for the ultimate fulfillment. You don't feel that this person fulfills your needs anymore. They don't fulfill you anymore. So you pick up and you leave without having a game plan. All right. And what ends up happening when you do that, Capricorn, is somebody from the past come back. Okay. And then you end up getting into a relationship with this person. All right. And that's not good because we got the moon card here. So this person could have a hidden family already that they're not telling you about. All right. They got something that's going on that they're not telling you about. Okay. Uh, familiarity breeds contempt. So you don't always want to go back to the past. Sometimes you have to realize that I left this person for a reason. Okay. Because obviously I wasn't happy with this individual. Something was wrong. So I'm not going to go back to this individual and think that it's going to be anything different. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. Okay. Now. For a lot of you Capricorns, you have a partner. Those of you that are not married, not in a relationship, didn't just recently leave a relationship, been single for a long time. Kind of looks like you're waiting on someone from out of town. Looking at the star card, it could be an Aquarius. Um, it could be a, ch uh, a Cancer, okay? Um, a Cancer or an Aquarius is what I feel very strongly. But this person lives a distance from you, okay? Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a great while. Okay, um, it's also a possibility that you're legally married to an Aquarius or a Cancer who has ghosted you. They live in a totally different state from you. All right, you already have a family with this person. It could be a marriage. Okay, but it looks like it's a marriage of separation. Like the whole entire marriage has been separation. If you're in that situation, you have to realize that it's time to walk away. Okay, even if you don't see anything ahead of you. If your husband or your wife, and you haven't been with this person for a long time, they're now in the way. They're in a way of you fulfilling your dreams or being with that particular person that's going to make you happy. Okay? So if you haven't talked to your husband in a while, you haven't talked to your wife, and they have ghosted you for many years, okay, it's time to get a divorce. Let that person go. Okay? Because you may have something there waiting on you. All right? For some reason, I feel very strongly that right about now, for um, the zodiac sign of Capricorn, this is about reconciliation with people that you have children with, all right? Somebody that you already have a family with, somebody you knew since childhood, somebody you grew up with, things like that, okay? Um, another thing is, for a lot of you Capricorns, if you don't know exactly what you want, what Spirit is urging you to do, especially with this Seven of Cups, the moon, ten of cups, they're urging you to just be single for a moment, okay? Just take some time off for yourself, be single for a moment, and see what it is that you want. Because, remember, the, the spirit guides work for you, all right? The universe works for you. So, if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, then they don't know what to give you, okay? They're not going to give you anything, because you're not asking for a particular individual. You just know, I want a family, okay? So then, when you, what, what else about the family? What's the details? I mean, what do you want with this family? I just want a family. So what are you going to do when, you know, once you get the family, then what? I'll wing it as I go. Okay? So that's what this moon card is about. Okay? Another thing could be that you were raised um, in a family that influences a lot of your relationships. But the problem could be that it's a broken family. All right? And, you know, if you come from a broken household, this has a lot of weight or influence on the decisions that you make for your own partners. Okay, um, long story short, I think what this reading is trying to tell you from the 15th through the 31st is it's time for you to take a break. Okay, those of you that are just jumping from partner to partner, just having senseless sex, I call it senseless because, you know, there's no emotion attached to it. You know, you really can't see a future with this individual. You just need to stop for a moment. Okay, it's time for you to stop for a moment and you have to go within. And you have to look over your past and the things that you got in your past. All right. And just get you a little notepad and just write down the things that you got in the past that felt really good. Okay. Or experiences that you went through that maybe you didn't learn a lesson out of and you want to learn a lesson out of those things. All right. You need to make your mind up. 
okay spirit says that you're all over the place with the temperance being the overall energy you're all over the place you're not really balanced you don't know what the fuck you're looking for you don't know what you want but then you complain to them about how single you are okay you're going to be single if you can't figure out what it is that you want what it is that you desire okay so two things it's time for you to take a break those of you that are jumping from random partners it's time to take a break to figure out what it is that you truly want and the second thing is, if you are legally married and you haven't seen your husband or wife in many years, okay, it is time for you to file a divorce, okay? It's time for you to get out of that marriage because they're in the way. Neither one of you are learning your lessons from each other. You don't have a marriage. It's kind of dead, you know, so you might as well just let it go. Sign on a dotted line and keep it moving, okay? Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. If you would like to purchase a reading with me, look in the description below. The pricing is there, pricing chart. All right, hit me up at allseeingatterror at gmail.com. But in the subject line, make sure you write which reading that you want to purchase. Okay? I thank you so much, Capricorn, and I will see you in August. Thank you.